I want to take a moment tonight to clear something up, or to make it as clear as I possibly can. Now, most of you who follow my videos know I am a self-proclaimed liberal. But quite often in the comments of my videos, after people see what I have to say and see how I feel about certain things, especially uh, the Constitution and individual rights, they say, I don't think you're a liberal, I think you're a libertarian. Well, I just want to say I am no libertarian, and uh, I will tell you why. First off, we need to establish that there's a huge difference between liberal and libertarian. Liberal is a mindset. Libertarian is a political ideology. Right off the bat, I want to define what liberal is. For a lot of people, don't seem to understand what the definition of a liberal is. Uh, if you look up the word liberal, you have to look at the noun, because when you're talking about me as a person being a liberal, that's a noun. That's not an adjective. A lot of people look up the adjective, and then they get confused, and they don't understand what they're talking about. So let's talk about it right now and looking at it as the noun, which what I am, the noun liberal. The definition of liberal, basically, is someone who's open-minded. They're not strict in the observation of orthodox or traditional or established forms or ways, which means we think outside the box, we look at facts, we don't look at just, this is the way other people think, so this is the way we're going to think. It's also an advocate of liberalism, especially in individual rights. So that's what a liberal is. Liberals are someone who we do not adhere to anyone's ideals or what they tell us we should think. We look at the facts, we make our decisions based on evidence and facts. We don't make our, our decisions based on what other people think or what other people think we should think. And we also we value personal, individual rights. Now, why can I be a libertarian? Why can't a liberal be a libertarian? Well, a lot of liberals can be libertarians. I personally can't be a libertarian because I believe that the libertarian party, just like every other party, Democrat, Republican, is at its core corruptible and too easily manipulated. My biggest problem with the uh, libertarian movement is I believe that they are historically naive when it comes to large corporations. Uh, the biggest funders of the libertarian movement are this small group of elite billionaires. And you have to wonder yourself, what do they have to gain from being the supporters of this movement? Well, what they have to gain is unchecked power, endless money, and, and, and endless freedom to do whatever they want to do. And the problem where I have with the libertarian, where I say they're historically naive, is that they believe that if corporations are freed from government regulations, if they are set free to do what they think is best, they will do what's right for the people because they will do what's right for the market. Well, historically, that's just not accurate. There's no examples of that system working, period, throughout history. There are thousands of examples of the opposite. There are thousands of examples of corporations running wild with unchecked power, uh, destroying the, the environment, destroying the people that it work for, and even destroying their own countries because they market elsewhere. Even the term redneck. If you want to do a little research, research the term redneck and see where that actually came from. You'll find out that was the common man fighting back against the unchecked power of corporations, coal mines, things like that. The ability to treat workers like they were garbage, like they were disposable. I believe a strong government, uh, a government of the people, a strong republic is essential for us to live the life we live. Uh, I am a f big lover of the United States government. I think that we have the best government in the world. I think this country is the, one of the best countries in the world because of our government and because of our people. And we have a government of the people. Now, do I think the government is perfect? No. I think the government has some issues, and I think you treat the government like you would a cancer patient. You treat the cancer. You don't sacrifice the patient. Uh, the patient is very valuable. Our government is very valuable. You treat the issues that, have, that are wrong with the government, but you realize that the government itself is a positive thing. It's us coming together as a people to accomplish as a whole that we could never accomplish, things that we could never accomplish as individuals. And people love to talk about what the founders have to say, what the founders think. Well, if you look back and you read the writings of the founders and you read the philosophies of the founders, the founding fathers all pretty much agreed on a couple of things. That there were three great threats to our republic. These great threats are, and a lot of people don't like to hear these, they're not popular things to say, but these three great threats were the abuse of organized religion, the unchecked corporate power, and the government itself. Now, a strong government of the people is what protects us from the first two things. They protect us from things like religion and corporations forcing their will upon people whether they want it or not. And what protects us from the third thing, the government itself, is our rights. The First Amendment, the Second Amendment, and so on. Even Thomas Jefferson said way back in the early days of the Republic that one of the greatest threats we faced were corporate power, corporate greed, corporate money. The wealthy elite challenging our own government for power and overtaking our government and then having unchecked reign in this country. So even though I believe the, the Libertarian Party is probably the party I have the least problem with, I can't be a member because I cannot agree with their naivete on a certain subjects. I just cannot get on the bandwagon that government should be small and weak. I believe government should be... Uh, appropriate sized and strong. 
Because how can you enforce rights in a state if you don't have a strong central government? Name me one government, th uh, one country throughout this world that doesn't have a strong central government that has a stable economy or has a stable life. And two, I just don't agree that if you give the wealthiest unchecked power that they'll do what's right for every man. Because they won't. It's just historically inaccurate. So when people ask me why I'm not a libertarian, that's why.